when we're talking about number seven, collaboration, we're talking about two components. We're talking about working together in the apostolate, and we're also talking about fellowship or community. And there are seven key components to fellowship. Now, fellowship here is the word, the biblical word. It's actually the Greek word is koinonia, which actually means fellowship in the spirit. What I like to call spiritual family. Now, we know we're part of a wider spiritual family called the body of Christ. And we experience that in a micro way in our parish. But it's difficult to kind of have a kind of close relationship we need to have with brothers and sisters even in a parish setting it's helpful for us to be part of a smaller group or a smaller fellowship and the goal of this is to mutually support one another in our Christian life and there are seven components that I'm going to recommend the first one is that there's a praying together a corporate prayer, maybe a time of worship or other devotions. But also in this fellowship group, there's a sense of praying for one another, interceding one another, interceding for one another. The second one is mutual support, just supporting each other in our struggles as we try to follow the Lord, which includes sharing what's going on providing a certain, uh, a certain transparency in what's happening in our lives. And each of us, you know, in the fellowship, getting to a place of transparency as, as trust builds in, in the fellowship. This could be a period of time where trust builds, and as trust builds, so does transparency. Now, at some point in time also too, you may get to a place where the trust is there where Members in the fellowship can give feedback to one another. And that's best done through granting permission, saying, yeah, I give you guys permission to, uh, to encourage me, to challenge me even. And this feedback may even go even a step further where you're asking for people's input for discernment purposes. You know, you sense that the Lord's calling you to do something and uh, and you can get some feedback. And I found this super helpful. Now, it can be hard to get feedback from others, you know. I, I found it super helpful when I've journeyed pe with people for several years because they, you know, they're, you know, they know your biases and they know your blind spots. But I've actually found it to be super helpful. I have found that the decisions I make with my fellowship, with my community, are better than the decisions I make by myself. So that's number four. Number five, service. Part of what you may look at in your fellowship is that you're a service to one another. Maybe practical ways you serve one another, help each other move or fix things in your house or drive folks here and there. But also service may extend to a service you, you do together that can be a good way to kind of build up the fellowship. And then social. Well, the, the primary motivation of the fellowship isn't social, right? We are incarnational beings and the social element can really help build up trust, build up a strong sense of, of, uh, of unity. And then the final component that you may look at is maybe, you know, is that there is a level of commitment that most basic commitment is just showing up for a meeting. But some fellowships may, you know, after many years of meeting together, may decide, you know what, we're going to kind of take a special step to be committed to each other for the longer haul. That's definitely kind of a process that requires a discernment of its own. But I mention it here because at the heart of fellowship is being committed to one another. And you may feel, like I've seen in some groups, they feel like, the Lord has called them to, to journey for the rest of their lives together. So seven things to consider when you're looking at fellowship because this life wasn't meant to be lived in a solitary way. And when it comes to being a Christian, especially being on mission, there are no Lone Rangers. And especially in this time, we need support. 
We need feedback from one another. We need spiritual protection, and there's a certain amount of spiritual protection that the Lord wants to bring through us being part of a fellowship.